You might have noticed, guys, that if you change the speed for a Fusion title clip, it's not going to work. Just give you some blank frames there, empty ones, or it's going to cut it. The speed change here does not work. That's because this is a Fusion clip that has a ton of keyframes. I don't know, some of them are really complicated. You need to go back to the keyframes to change the timing. But sometimes you want to use this and you want to keep it very simple and change or retime the speed within the edit page. The workaround is like this. You right click and you create a new compound clip. Let's call it center reveal. And you create. Now, if you remember, you come to your media pool in my compound bin here, you will find the center reveal clip. Now we have some kind of a video clip and inside it, there is some fusion, some motion graphics, whatever. You could call it a video. Now to render it very fast, what I'm going to do is to right click and go to render cache fusion and put it on. So whatever fusion is inside is rendered and now I can play with the video clip. Notice when it gets blue, how it's going to be very smooth to play with this clip and change its timing. It now it's blue totally. I press Ctrl R for speed change. And I can, for example, come to the small arrow here, say speed change and make it 200%. So I'm going to increase the speed. If I play from in and out, you notice that everything sped up. The in animation, the time in between and the out animation, everything is speedy. That's one solution. Maybe you don't want this. You want to retime it even better. No problem. You can come over here. Okay, and determine where is the end of the in animation. Okay, just over here. For example, you're happy with that. Okay, of course, you know that now you add the speed point. Then you come at the end and determine the beginning of the out animation. Here you are. Okay, just over here. And then, of course, you add a speed point. So now you have three segments. What you can do now is decide, okay, I want to increase the speed on the in and out and keep the time in between constant. So I'll change the speed here and make it, for example, 150. The same here, but 150 will not give us the same timing because we have some blank clips here. Nevertheless, I'm going to change it to 150. Here you are. So now, if you play it from in and out, it's speedy, it stays the same time, but it looks longer than here, it's much faster. You can do the contrary, for example, let's reset the speed to 100% and here also reset speed to 100%. And then in the middle here, just in the middle here, I'm going to change the speed to 50%. So I made it much longer, the posing over here, the still period. Then let's play from in and out point. Notice how it's rendering so fast now. Here you are, you have a longer time over here. And of course, you can change the timing of the in and out animations. Now, guys, you have a full control of the Fusion titles. And I encourage you to come over and play with them. If you get some problems, if things are not working with you, don't worry. Just post your question in the q and I'll be so happy to help you. I'll be also very happy to create new things with you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture.